good racing and good competition to come. It's a school night. It's a school night, isn't it? They've got to be back home and in bed. It's school in the morning. They finally set off now. You're in uh, the first of the 400 meters. Oh, yeah. Yeah, of course, uh, the favorites, but don't uh, miss out on the Sri Lankans. Yeah. Iraqis uh, out here, the Iraqis uh, making sure that uh, they would uh, want to give their very best out here. That's a bit of a surprise. Yeah, it's normally a, a, a two band or a three band stagger. I think that they've just run off a two band stagger here, but uh, this, well, is, is assuming the normal order now, but he left it a little bit late. He'll be passing over in the middle, not on the inside. In fact, on the outside, because he was third at 100 metres. It is Vishal TK who takes the second and not the anchor. He's been uh, fresh from the 400 metres where he won the number one position. Now, you take those huge strides. Far the most experienced of the Indian runners out here. He continues the same momentum. I don't think he's going to push himself because uh, he's got uh, nothing to really lose out here. Well, it makes it exciting, doesn't it? This next handover, where it could be very tight. Remember, they line up from the inside in the order they were at, at halfway. But this is the halfway point in the race. We've only got two laps to go, and you could fit all three in a phone box. moment, I thought uh, that after the first 200 metres, it would be Vishal TK. It's now going to be left to the two of them, Chaudhry and Dharambir for India. They continued that momentum of that lead. But the Sri Lankans have slowly but surely slipped in now. It's a different game plan for the Sri Lankans. I think he's uh, gone out very riskily, the Sri Lankan here. You can see his eyes are blazing. He's full on. But let's see if a lactic sniper comes into play in the closing 50 metres because that was full on. To go that quickly past, there's sometimes a price to be paid. That lead is not going to hold him in good stead for time because the Indians from the inside has made that was a change in strategy. They got plan number B into action out there. Well, for sure, the Sri Lankans out knows. Well, it's deafening. All the kids have come down to the edge of the rail right by the finish line. Not over yet, but India have got uh, some firepower on this last leg, but the other two teams are not rolling over. Dharamveer it is uh, who takes the anchor for India. He's been a strong 400 meters by himself. Iraq and Sri Lanka are not one to give up there. They're pushing Dharamveer there towards the final 60 odd meters. I suspect he'll take it away. Look at this for a finish. It's going to the wire and it's going to be Sri Lanka. What a race! Oh, that was some run on the final leg there. Did I say that the Indians will take it away towards the end? It's not over till the fat lady sings. Well, his team will carry him shoulder high. It's quieting the crowd right down because it did look like a lap of honour at one point, but it's that whole thing of over committing down the back straight because it, it's a fine judgment with the levels of lactic that will keep you pumping down the home straight and uh, the the indians haven't gone to each other look at this look how far he's coming back from he's in third here now second and now with only 10 meters to go wow what an anchor leg that was They certainly kept themselves uh, 308.22 and that's a picture which I'm sure the Emerald Isle will celebrate the, the four of them. We've been talking about historically how strong the Sri Lankans have been.